Good morning, my sister and brother, Brother Word here, trusting that you are doing well. Happy preparation day, happy preparation day. It's a beautiful day in the neighborhood. So how are you today? How are you today? Let me put this over here like that. Trusting that you are doing well. So let's get into our topic today. Let's get into our topic today. And we are in... To be like Jesus by Ellen G. White. To be like Jesus. So before we go into that, let us go ahead and bow for prayer. Then we have the scripture reading. Father God, I thank you, Father God, for waking us up this morning. I thank you, Father God, for another opportunity, Father God, to get our lives in order. So right now, Father God, I'm asking you to decrease me, Father God, so that you will be increased. Allow your Holy Spirit, Father God, to take full control. I thank you, Father God, for hearing, for answering through the Holy Spirit. In Jesus' name, amen and amen. Okay, so scripture reading is coming from, hey, my brother, how are you? Trusting that you are doing well. Trusting that you are doing well. And so we are in uh, Genesis 3, verses 5. Genesis 3, verses 5. Let me double check. Actually, Genesis 3, verse 15. Genesis 3, verse 15. And it says, I will put enmity between thee and the woman, and between thy seed and her seed. It shall bruise thy head, and thou shalt bruise his heel. May the Lord add a blessing to the reading, hearing, and the doing of his words. And that was Genesis 3, verses 15. Genesis 3, verses 15. So let's get into the promise of redemption. The promise of redemption. In the doping flowers and the falling leaf, Adam and his companion witnessed the first sign of decay. Vividly was brought to their minds, the stem, the steam fact that every living thing must die. Even the air, the air, the one that we breathe, even the air upon which their life depend, bore the seeds of death. Continually, they were reminded also of their lost dominion. Continually. They were reminded also of their lost dominion. Among the lower creatures, Adam had stood as king, and so long as he remained loyal to God, all nature acknowledged his rule. But when he transgressed, his dominion was forfeited. The spirit of rebellion, to which he himself had given entrance, extended throughout the animal kingdom. The animal creation. Let me go back. The spirit of rebellion to which he himself has given entrance extended throughout the animal creation. Thus, not only the life of human, but the nature of the beast, the tree of the forest, the grass of the field, the very air they breathe. All told, all told the sad lessons of the knowledge of evil but mortals would not abolish let me go back it says but mortal were not abandoned to the results of the evil they had chosen in the sentence pronounced upon satan was given an intimation of redemption in the sentence pronounced upon satan was given an intimation of redemption. I will put enmity between thee and the woman, God said, and between thy seed and her seed. It shall bruise thy head, and thou shalt bruise his heel. And this is coming from Genesis 3, verses 15, and that was our memory verse for this morning. The sentence spoken in the hearing of our first parents was to them a promise. Before they heard of the torn and the tissel, of the toil and the sorrow that must be their portion, or of the dust to which they must return, they listened to words that could not fail of giving them hope. All that, all that had been lost by yielding to Satan 
would be regained through Christ. All that has been lost by yielding to Satan would be regained through Christ. This intimation also nature repeats to us. Too marred by sin, it speaks not only of creation but of redemption. Though the earth bears testimonies of the curse in the evidence sign of decay, it is still rich and beautiful in token of life-giving power. The trees cast off their leaves only to be robed with the fresher venger. The flowers die to spring forth a new beauty. And in every manifestation of creative power is held out the assurance that we may be created anew in righteousness and holiness of truth. And this is coming from Ephesians 4, verses 24. Ephesians 4, verses 24. Thus, the very objects and operations of nature that bring so vividly to mind our great loss becomes to us the messenger of hope. As far as evil extends, the voice of our Father is heard, bidding his children see in its result the nature of sin, warning them to forsake the evil and invites them to receive the good. Let me repeat the last sentence. As far as evil extended, the voice of our Father is heard, bidding his children see in its result the nature of sin, warning them to forsake the evil and invite them to receive the good. So he's warning us to forsake the evil and invite us to receive the good. And then if you have the book, uh, Education is on page 26 and 27. The book, Education, pages 26 and 27. So that concludes my devotion, my sister, my brother, the promise of redemption. And the scripture reading was coming from Genesis 3, verses 15. Okay, so let us go ahead and bow for prayer. Father God, I thank you, Father God, for this message today, Father God. You have given us all the promises that we need, Father God. You have given us nature, Father God, as our, as our lesson book, Father God. We can learn so much, Father God. We thank you, Father God, for being such a mighty God, Father God, that you saw us before we saw ourselves, Father God, and you have sent your Son to die on Calvary's cross for each and every one of us. And so, Father God, we thank you. We thank you. We thank you. So, Father God, if we have done anything that was not pleasing or acceptable in your sight today, Father God, we ask you to wash us, Father God, and make us whiter than snow. And Father God, we give you permission to use us, to mold us, to shape us into what you want us to be, Father God. And Father God, we're not asking you to remove the valleys or the mountains that each one of us have to go through our trials and our tribulation. We're just asking you, Father God, to continue to give us the strength and the power to go through the last storms of life, Father God. We give you praise. We give you honor. We give you glory. And we thank you, Father God, for answering through the Holy Spirit, in Jesus' name, amen and amen. Okay, my sister and brother, thank you so much for stopping by. So this is Bird of Worry. You can find me at birdofworry.com. While you're there, you'll find a free ebook. Uh, you find a, also you can purchase my book there. Follow me over YouTube under Burdell Warrior. While you're there, there's a wealth of information there for you and your whole entire family. And it's kids friendly. Kids friendly. Kids can understand the topic, my sister and brother. The Holy Spirit can open their mind to receive the information. And so go over there. And also you can also go there and, um, make a donation to my ministry. And thank you for those of you that have already made donate donations. Thank you so much. And thank you for those that just stopped by, those that's going to stop by in the future. Thank you so much for taking time out of your busy schedule to stop by here today. May God continue to reach and bless you and your family. And I'm finding that's like I'm, my throat is very dry. I had some, um, I decided to do a cleanse this morning. So I did, um, what was it? Some surracy, some surracy. Um, and so I did like two cups of sorcery. So what I should have done, drank the two cups and maybe drank like maybe 16 ounces of water behind that. 
Um, and it wasn't, I guess I'm, 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 I'm used to it now. So it's not, it's bitter. <laughs> it's a bitter herb. And you find that it's also good for lowering your blood sugar, uh, blood pressure. It's a cleansing. If you have worms or parasites, it's very good. And you can find Cerasi. Uh, it's being, it spells, I think it's uh, C E R A S E, something like that. You spell it. And you can find it at one of the uh, Caribbean market. Um, it comes in different little packet and it says Cerasi. And you can boil it. And I was looking at one of the videos. This guy, he he boiled it and then he put some bay leaf in there. There was another bitter thing that he put in his. And then he put a little bit of um, the cinnamon stick he put in there. And so I did um, the Cerasi boil. I did one teaspoon. Boil one teaspoon with two cups of water. Two cups of water, one teaspoon. And then I put the bay leaf in there. And then I put a little piece. I do not like cinnamon. I'm not a cinnamon person. So I just took a little piece of a cinnamon stick and broke that and put that in the water. And so it was very refreshing. So I can't wait for my next cup. So I don't think I'll overdo it today, but I think I will do that. Hmm. Probably start again maybe tomorrow, tomorrow morning. So it was uh, refreshing, very refreshing. So you can go ahead and do your Google search and see what all the goods for, but it's so many benefits. So if you want to do like a cleanse and, you know, purify your blood, uh, that would be a good, um, a good tea to make. And I, I had it this morning on empty stomach. As I usually, I don't eat in the morning. So I had it on empty stomach, two, two glass on an empty stomach, empty stomach. Then well, I saw something else, someone said, well, don't, you know, you normally don't have that stuff on empty stomach, but I guess because my system is, um, is, is clean, is cleansed. So I can, uh, I mean, you know, I don't eat like the way some people eat. And so with that, it was, um, uh, very refreshing and, um, I'm used to bitter stuff. So it was not too bitter for me. And so, but I stayed just like one teaspoon to two glass two cups of water, one teaspoon to two cups of water. And then you can have it by itself. You don't have to add the bay leaf or the cinnamon. You can have it by yourself, have it by itself. And it's refreshing. Had it, I did it on an empty stomach, empty stomach. That's what I did. So for you, you might be different based on what you are doing, but that was one of the things that I was doing this morning. Okay, this morning. So with that, my sister and brother, so just, just, just a help nugget for those of you that might be having um, parasites or worms in your body. Yeah, time for a cleanse, time for a cleanse, time for a cleanse. And I am very careful of what I put in my body. I um, I guess maybe if you, maybe if you one of those person that eats meat and stuff, then you, you know, you would have to probably do, do it longer. So I'm thinking about maybe someone suggested uh, a week. I'll probably just go 10 days with just doing that uh, in the morning probably for 10 days and then see. And um, someone did it for like a month and then had, I think like high blood pressure and then went back to the doctor. I am not a doctor, so I'm not, I'm not giving you no help. Uh, I'm not giving you no, uh, how would you say? No, um, professional this not for this for educational purposes to protect myself educational purposes so for those of you that are under doctor's care you go to your doctor and take check with them first before you do what i'm just state okay i am not a health professional person i just do stuff that is benefit myself so i just decided to share it this morning I wasn't even here to decide to share it, but for whatever reason, I shared it. So just if you do, if you're doing that, make sure you go and you're taking medication, seek your doctor before you go into that. And if you want, if you're a woman that is uh, breastfeeding or you're pregnant, surrogacy is not something that you do not take that. You do not take it at all. If you're pregnant or you are nursing, do not take surrogacy. Do not take it. Do not take it. Okay that so that's one of the um one of the other warning warning so this is for educational purposes only and i'm not a doctor so just seek the advice from your doctor what was that seek advice hey hey girlfriend where have you been good to see you good to see you 
yeah, so um, making sure that, you know, if you are under doctor's care, you go and check with your doctor first. If you're taking medication, go to them first before you do this, um, the, what did I say? The surrogacy. I'm used to it because my grandmother used to give it to me as a child. She used to purge all of her grandchildren. And then she did it. She did the, okay, we had, it was a vine that grew, grows around the property. So she would just harvest the, the vine. And then she get this big old pot and she fill it up with water and then she wash that and then put it in there and, the boil, and then to the boil and then she drank, so we gave it to us to drink. But then sometimes, I think like every three months, she took those same um, fresh, um, what do you say, the vine, the fresh vine. And she also, at the time, she also would um, take it and uh, take it um, and she put it in this big old... Um, I don't know what you call this big old bowl and then she 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 like uh, hit it like this and then it gets into like it comes into a cream she makes it into a cream oh my goodness that was the worst one she make it into a cream and it's very thick and rich and then she gave us a dose of that I do not like the fresh one you know I mean that you that you mash and then she strained it and then gave us to drink. I did not like that one. But when she boiled it, <laughs> uh, when she boiled it, that was a little that was a little bit better. And so we always was running to the restroom, running to the restroom, all of us kids. So um, you, I just, I remember when I was listening, it's like, oh boy, yeah, I remember that my grandmother was used to give us that. And we were never sick. We were uh, very healthy. And she made sure that she she was purging her grandkids. It's like every three months, and then sometime during the, uh, in the middle of the month, she was doing the. Uh, she just boiled the water, boiled it, and then gave us the water to drink. And other times she just beat it up, and that was I think that's the stronger part, beating it up, and then make it into um, a thick. It was very thick, and then she did dilute it with water and then gave us to drink gave it that to drink. So my sister, brother, let us continue to take care of our bodies, right? Take care of our bodies. God has given us all the uh, herbal stuff for us to use to make our bodies stronger so we can go and do the work that he has called each and every one of us to do. So with that, my sister, brother, thank you so much for taking time out of your busy schedule to stop by here today. May God continue to richly bless you and your family. But before you go, let us do the four hugs of so four hugs for survival. We know there's four for survival, there's eight for maintenance, and then there's 12 hugs for growth, but we're only gonna do the four, four, four. So here we go. One, two, three, four. But thank you, my system. Thank you, my brother. I probably should have had a package to show you uh, what it looks like. Hold on, hold on, let me go get it, hold on. Okay, so I got these from my mom, and I have them in a jar. So let me show you what it looks like. So this is what it looks like. Can you guys see it? So it spell it is C E R A S E E. You guys see this? Uh no. So my girlfriend said, "Girl, I couldn't see that." There you go. So this one here, my mom got this from um from L A. And then uh, so here it is. So you see so. Like, you see the vine? You see that? It's loose. See? So this is the dry one. So you just take a two teaspoon, I mean, I mean one teaspoon in water. One teaspoon with water with two cups of water. So this is what this is, and it's bitter. It's bitter. So I have them in here in my little container. I have a lot of stuff in here, a lot of leaf, a lot of herbal stuff in here. What else do I have here? Oh, wow, this is Sina leaf. Now, no, this one here, uh, you want you don't want to take this by itself. Like this would gripe your stomach, you know? So you want to do that. But I prefer, I don't know if I would mix Cerasi and Sina together. I don't know if I would do that. I haven't done that yet. So maybe I should try it out and see what, what happens, right? So this is all the dry herbs that I have in here. And this is all Sina and um, Cerasi, the Cerasi. And then I got this other, oh no, my goodness, 
This was another bitter. I don't remember what the name of this one is. My mother gave this to me. So now, guys, this one here is extremely bitter. Let me see. See this one here? It's very bitter. So she would go and she soak this in water. And then she drinks it, this one. So I would like maybe just take... I don't even remember the name of this. I should have wrote the name on this, huh? So these ones here, this is very bitter, very bitter. So my mom soaked this in water and then she drink and she drinks this like every day. So it's very bitter. It's like ah, uh, and then the smell if it's leave there for a while, it's kind of, kind of it's, it smells. So I haven't done this one for a while, but I'm on my Saracy kit right now. And so for those of you that haven't seen it, this one, see that. And then I got these, um, uh, my mom bought these for me from LA. And the Leaf of Life, and it sure is. This has a lot of benefits, my sister and brother. But like I said, if you're pregnant, do not take. If you're breastfeeding, do not take. And it's also good for women, for if you're having uh, cramp, uh, menstrual issues, it's good for that. Cerise is good for that as well. I should have had my list of stuff that Cerise is good for, but you can go to Uncle Google and Google what's Cerise. And let me spell it again for you. It's C-E-R-A-S-E-E. -E -E. Okay. So it has a lot of benefit. If you're one of those persons that's having um, inflammation, it's good for that. Worms, parasites, good for that. You know we all have that, right? Worms and parasites. So this is a good detox, detox your system. So with that, my sister brother... Love you, love you, love you. Talk to you, let's say Monday. Talk to you on Monday. And Monday, I start my new job. What am I going to be doing? Babysitting, babysitting my grandbaby. My grandbaby is two months, and I'm going to be babysitting her while her mother goes back to work. While mommy and daddy is working, so I'll be the babysitter. So on starting on Monday, I'm on a new assignment. So I take off one hat and put on another hat. So I can't wait. It's exciting. Uh, it's an exciting time. I don't know about you. I'm, I, I'm moving from one season of life to another season. So it's exciting. It's exciting. I give praise and honor and glory to God. So with, my, with that, my sister, my brother, love you. Love you. Talk to you on Monday. Oh, happy Sabbath to those of you that already celebrated. How could I forget? Happy Sabbath to those of you that are already celebrating the Sabbath. And we know the Sabbath is Friday sundown to Saturday sundown. Always been Saturday. Always been Saturday. So you can go to Uncle Google and Google who changed the Sabbath from Saturday to Sunday. And that is the system that Satan is using. I'm not talking about the people because God got his children in all these different churches and he's calling them out of Babylon, out of that false system under his banner. So it, the day to worship is Saturday, my sister, my brother. It forever will be from this point until eternity. We'll be celebrating the Sabbath. And so with that, you can also look at Exodus, Exodus 20 verses 8. 311 talks about remember the sabbath day most churches keeps nine but they forget the fourth commandment and remember we got 10 right but most people keep nine most churches keeps nine and they forget that one remember the sabbath day to keep it holy so with that have a happy sabbath my sister and brother love you and talk to you then take care